Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. It's me, the Blade Gamer, of course. In the last episode, we finished up the, uh, jo the dungeon inside Jabu Jabu's belly, except for the boss. In this video, we're going to take care of the boss and continue on in the story. Bioelectric Anemone Baronade. Now, Baronade's a pretty fun boss, but it is one of the most disgusting bosses. This is probably the most similar boss to Kale Demos uh, from Wind Waker, you know, the big plant boss. This is probably where it got its inspiration. So, what you want to do is uh, use the boomerang and get all of his tentacles off of the, wall, uh, the ceiling. Um, which then will cause him to send out these jellyfish things. Now, what you want to do is stun his body. But, you can also destroy the jellyfish things uh, by stunning them with the boomerang, which will allow you to hit his body. So, when he starts spinning around, sometimes, sometimes you can get, if you're lucky enough, you can stun his body. But most of the time, you cannot hit him while he's doing this. See, so I got him right there. Uh, Alright, so at this point, you're given the chance to uh, destroy his jellyfish uh, attachments. <laughs> jellyfish attachments? I, I don't think I, I would be... Well it, is, well, it is true. It's just I worded it so weirdly. Um, so now you want to destroy as many of them as you can. You got all but one right there. So now it will be easy to the last one. So now, he has no option but to face me. Whoa, okay, I jumped right into the, in between those two beams and I didn't get hurt. That was pretty cool. Alright, so I think I only have a couple more hits. Um, like I said, he's a, he's a fun boss, he's just... I don't like the way he's designed. I'm not a big fan of intestinal-looking creatures. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the fact that these giant blisters go all over him and he blows up is just... <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, though, uh, since I am playing this on the re-released re version of Ocarina of Time, if you have the gold cartridge or some of the early copies of this game, uh, instead of green blood, it will show red blood. Uh, I guess they removed it to maintain its uh, rating. But anyway, we get another heart container, which is always nice. You... you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Uh-huh. Thanks. <laughs> I guess it's true that when someone picks on you, they might secretly have a, tr a crush on you. You. You looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would, anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want the spiritual stone. Nothing, really. You mean the spiritual stone of water, or a sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me, and said I should give it only to the man who, I will, be, who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Alright. 
I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora's Sapphire. You obtained the Zora's Sapphire. This is a spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about. But you finally co collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Alright, so we've <laughs> Don't tell my father. <laughs> so we've finally collected all three spiritual stones, which is what we need to progress in the game. And, uh... The next prog progression in, this, in the story is probably the single most progression in the entire game. Um, there are a couple things we need to do now before we go see Zelda. Um, so now it is side quest time. Alright, so the first thing you're wanna, gonna want to do is get out your ocarina and play the sun song, because we need it to be night here for just a moment. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get up on this limb right here. Um, and right here will be another Sculptula. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is collecting as many Sculptulas and heart container, well, heart pieces as we can um, until uh, we need to go see Zelda. Alright, so we got another gold Sculptula token. I believe that is the last one out of the Zora's Fountain, uh, until later in the game, possibly. And, uh, now, we need to go back to the Zora's River. Just for a quick moment. Actually, I've decided to put off going to the Zora's River till a little bit later. Um, but what we're gonna wanna do is go to Lake Hylia, because we have several side quests there. Now... Um, I may cut ahead right here to certain points in case I may have forgotten something. So, uh, I'm gonna cut ahead to where we need to go next. Alright, so right here on this small island with two posts will be another gold Sculptula. I got it right in time, right before it turned to day. And we got the gold Sculptula. So the next place we want to go is, uh, that shot... the fishing pond right over there. You can't tell it's a fishing pond, but uh, over there you can, might see there's a door against the wall and what looks like a shop, and that's where we're going. So I'm not going to cut ahead since I'm right here, but yeah, this is where we want to go. Now this also is another mini game that can sometimes take forever uh, if you're not good at it or not lucky at it. Um, but luckily, when you're in the uh, this part of the game, it's not too bad. Well, do you want to go for fishing for 20 rupees? Oh no, your rumble feature is, isn't on. With the rumble feature, you can feel the vibrations of the fish on your hook. This time, no rumble for you. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press L to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with a control stick. If you're a novice, novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A. Hold down A and R to reel it in faster. If you feel a hit, press A and down to set the hook. After that, reel it in with A. Do you understand? Well, I do. And he said, uh, he's going to be generous, generous and let me fish as long as we want, but we can only keep one fish. The biggest fish ever caught was six pounds, so if you can... Break the record, uh, he'll give you something nice. Um, now, there is one giant fish in the game, uh, per section of the game, I guess you could say. I can't quite remember where the big fish is um, for Link right now, so I'm just going to kind of scout the water and look for the biggest fish that I can find. Um... That one seems to be a bit small. 
So does that one, but our goal is seven pounds. Um, let's see, is that a big one? Not really. So yeah, just look for the biggest fish in the pond, and um, try not to scare it. So what I'm going to do is throw my line into the pond. Alright, so when a fish catches onto it, uh, you press down an A to hook it, and when the fi if the fish jumps out of the water, you want to let go so that it will not get off the line. Come on, fishy. Alright, so this one weighs two pounds. I'm going to keep it for now, but I'm definitely not going to turn that one in. Alright, so I'm going to fish around until I find uh, the best fish there is for now. So I will be back in a bit. Alright, seven pounds. Yes, we're going to keep that. And this should give us what we're looking for. Um, yeah, it's really... This this game can be fun if you can find the fish and catch it. Um, what's funny is that I kept failing in this minigame when I practiced because I didn't know that when the fish jumped out of the water, if you were still reeling in, that it has a big potential for it to get off the line. So that is my biggest tip of advice for you, is to, uh, when the fish jumps out of the water, just uh, let go of all buttons you're, you may be touching until it's back in the water, and then try again, so that that way you don't ever lose it. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record! It weighs at least 7 pounds! Seriously, okay, here's your prize. What? What? I thought you just had to break the record. Crap, now that I remember, it has to be like nine pounds. Ah, what the heck? Anyway, I'm gonna go catch another big fish. I'll be right back. Thank you! Finally! Anyway, you want to find the fish that he says is a real lunker. That means that it's heavy enough to uh, impress the fishing guru, or the fishing shop, the fishing pond owner, or whatever you want to call him. And, uh, yeah, we got a big fish. Weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record! It weighs at least 11 pounds! Seriously, okay, here is your prize. And we get a piece of heart. Thank you. And we've uh, completed another heart container. Hey, you can't take the rod out of here. When you quit fishing, return the rod to the counter. I'm serious. Alright, I'll do that. I forgot you had to do that. But yeah, there's some cool tricks in the fishing pond that I may mention later. Um... But, uh, yeah. Alright, so, um, one of the first things you want to do once you get to Lake Hylia, other than the fishing pond, is to talk to this scarecrow right here. I am Banuru, the scarecrow, musical genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. Alright, so now you take out your ocarina. It's like, whoa, you have an ocarina? Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? Alright, so you can play any song you want to. I'm just going to do a really fast, uh, um, song. Whoa! 
Well, not bad. I'll remember it for you. Re I'll remember it for you. I don't mean I can remember only eight notes, but let's just cut it right there for now, baby. All right, so that will have some some importance later in the game, but right now it has almost none. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is now we're going to finally start want to start planting magic beans when we get the moment to. All right, so there is a magic bean plant right here, and as, or there's a soil patch where we can plant a magic bean, I should say, and with tradition, you know, uh, you're going to want to put a bottle of bugs in there, and wait for the gold sculpture to pop out. There we go. Took long enough. Alright, and now we can plant a magic bean. But we do not have to water it, so don't worry about coming back to water it. Alright, and if I'm not mistaken, there will be a Sculptula on the back of this house. Yep. Alright. And this is the Lakeside Laboratory, by the way. It's not just any regular house. But if I'm not mistaken, there's not really anything we can do here at the moment. Um... Alright, so now, we got that sculpture. Now, I'm going to go to this island real quick and see if there is uh, a sculpture on the tree over there. I don't think there's one till later in the game, so... Yeah, I'm good. Alright, so I do believe we got all of the... Uh, Sculptulas in Lake Hylia for the time being.